Hello everyone, greetings from Banu Space, Tanya Inya for Caffeine. So big news, patch alpha 3.21 is now live on the PTU and yes you heard that right, it's 3.21, not 3.20.1. Now, while this might sound like a bit of a controversial choice, it's potentially kind of a big deal actually. As CIFG have stated that this patch is a big step for the game towards, and I quote, the next major milestone in its online slash networking technology. And as big as it seems to be in terms of its significance, this patch is also huge when it comes to size, with almost 33 gigabytes more than the current 3.20 live patch. That's a lot of new stuff for us to download and test, so let's jump right in. One of the new things that CIG is introducing with this patch is a new technology preview channel. As far as I understand, this is a way for them to let us play the game with the same content it features as the live version, but with those big tech changes that they need to test and validate before they can release them to everyone. The first among those will be the so-called replication layer, which is part of the work in progress server meshing infrastructure, the thing that is meant to make the game more persistent and dynamic and also get us closer to alpha 4.0. Now, I'm really not an expert on this stuff at all, but I'm sure there are a lot of competent streamers out there who are right now working on videos explaining all this in much more detail. The technology preview channel aside, 3.21 also brings us some new and updated gameplay features, most notably three new missions that involve legal and illegal activities in the Stanton system. The first one is called Retrieve Consignment, where we have to find and recover a cargo container that's been lost or stolen by pirates or other factions, and this mission can be either legal or illegal, depending on who we are working for and what kind of cargo we're dealing with. Second one is called Korea Steal Evidence, where we have to infiltrate our much beloved security station of Korea to find valuable data and evidence about various crimes and activities in the system. The third new mission is called Repel Raid on Orison, where we have to defend the floating city from an attack by hostile forces. And this one now utilizes newly added platform clusters around Crusader. And last but not least, a nice update for the remote turret gunners among us it seems to be an added zoom on all vehicles that come with a pilot controllable remote turret. However, this is not all that this patch has to offer. There are also some hidden surprises that have been discovered by some data miners who have looked into the game files and found some clues about what the developers are working on behind the scenes. One of these surprises is the possible introduction of jump points in the near future. The data miners seem to have found some files that suggest that the developers are preparing jump points from Stanton to other systems like Magnus, Pyro and Terra. The files shared include assets like holograms, signs and animations that indicate the presence of jump points and the destinations they lead to. This is kind of an exciting surprise as it means we might be able to see some new star systems soon. This is something that of course many players have been waiting for a long time as it would open up a whole new dimension of gameplay and exploration. A bit of a cute surprise is the possible addition of dogs and other pets in the game. The data miners have indeed found files that indicate that developers are even working on features like feeding, walking, playing and petting dogs and other pets in the game. One last surprise is the possible reveal of some new ships and vehicles in the game. There seem to be files that mention names and models of ships and vehicles that have not been officially announced or shown by the developers yet. One of those being the Drake Cutter Scout, an exploration variant of the Drake Starter Ship. Now, it's important to keep in mind that while these surprises might be somewhat exciting and promising, they are not confirmed or guaranteed by CAG and they may end up changing or being delayed depending on their development progress and priorities. However, I think we can still enjoy them for the time being as a glimpse of what Star Citizen has to offer in the future and maybe as a little gesture in an attempt to reward us for our patience and support for the game. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment and share, subscribe to the channel and join me on my pursuit of personal growth and a deeper understanding of interstellar commerce. I've been Major Starstuff. Until next time, bye. Or as we say in the Banu Protectorate, Michai, Michai, get rich.